gap between and then you wrap it around the coat of the pipe and then you go the other way and it makes it super tight. White flag is and we have a flag on track, and uh, we are set to go with Sundance Leisure Thunder Cars, and we'll give you the starting line up here to be Jared Gelson on point in the number 22. J. O. J. White on the outside of row number one, scheduled to go in the 94. Row number two is going to find Damian Beckler in the 26B with Tony Frezzo in the 22F alongside. Lyle Robinson, the 61, along with the uh, 13 of Gary Charlo. Terry Gardner in the 41, along with Keenan Paquette in the 72K. Francis White in the number 60 with Anthony St. Mary Sr. in the 111. 111 J of Anthony St. Mary Jr. inside of row number six. Josh Vern Sr. in the number 22 inside row numbers or outside row six. And Michael Greenfield slated to go in the number 16. And that will do it. Set to go green. 15 laps is the distance. Set for green. 15 laps is the distance and we're underway. Four wide off the start. And Lyle Robinson stuck through the... Oh, and O.J. White gets together with Lyle Robinson and Jared Gilson. White still getting pushed through turns one and two. Everybody's going to straighten it out. The Paquette number 72 got a little bit of airtime over there in between turns one and two. A lot of calamity over there in corners one and two. Yellow lights are on. Yellow lights are on here. No laps complete. We'll try that again. Kaden Paquette got uh, the left or right side wheels up into the air over there. There is none. So, I'll line them up and do it all over again. Again, 50-50 tickets are on sale. we got some of our girls working through the grandstands right now as well, so if you have not gotten your tickets, please do so. If you are looking to get them, they are available at the 50-50 booth located directly underneath the VIP tower. Complete restart, where we'll go back to the original lineup, minus the cars that were involved in that incident. They'll have to go to the tail of the field if they can make it back out.
ready to go as the field is lined up two by two. Original restart. White flag. They still got one pitch during the entire round. White flag will be displayed this time by Green next trip around. Got to give a shout out to a couple people watching live on Dirt Track Digest tonight. Uh, man who was recently inducted into the Northeast Modified Hall of Fame last year, Danny O'Brien, watching at home on Dirt Track Digest TV, still uh, recuperating from the uh, injury suffered at Brockville at the end of last season. Danny, we hope you're doing well and. Uh, Glad you're enjoying the broadcast tonight on Dirt Track Digest TV. Also, one of the guys that is usually here tonight, but uh, he had some family commitments to tend to, so he decided, well, if we're going to do that, we're going to watch Can-Am on Dirt Track Digest. Chris Marcinko is watching us live on DTD TV tonight. So, uh, Chris, we miss you here, bud, and uh, look forward to seeing you back here in a couple weeks' time. Uh, Tyler and Michelle did say if you want to show up next week, you can uh, just bring your work boots. They uh, got plenty you can do. And here we go. <laughs> Set for green. Off of turn number four, original restart. We are underway. As they motor through one and two, Tony Frezzo in command of the field down the back chute takes the lead from O.J. White. Francis White cuts through the field quickly. He's up from near the tail of the field to second as they head up into corner number three and four down across the line this time by for lap number one. Tony Frezzo in control of it. Fifteen laps once again is the issue here. It's Tony Frezzo, the race leader. Watch O.J. White on that outside lane. He was quick up there early on and makes his way alongside of the number 60 of White down the back straight away into turn number three and a four. Down across the line this time by Tony Frezzo continues to show the way. Francis White, O.J. White, side-by-side -side battle for second and third. Damian Beckler looking for room. Watch the 61 Lyle Robinson. He came from near the tail of the field after an early race incident last week to come back to win the feature. Looking to do it again here today. He's right now in position number five and still a long way to go with this one. Damian Beckler makes a big move through the middle. Beckler goes from fourth and trying for second. In the meantime, they're all after Tony Frezzo for the lead down in front. Three laps in the books, 12 laps left to go. Tony Frezzo has the lead, but for how much longer? That's the question. Here comes Francis White making a bid to the inside lane. That's not going to work. Damian Beckler will pull to the high side to try to find some running room. O.J. White watching the top three battle from position number four. Three wide for the lead down across the line this time by Beckler will lead the lap by about an inch or so at the, at the strike. And it will be Beckler taking over the lead at lap number four. Down the back straightaway goes the top four drivers. The uh, 61 of Lyle Robinson fading towards the back portion of the top five in danger of losing the number five position to the 16 of Michael Greenfield has come down across the line this time by with Damian Beckler in control of it. Francis White, Tony Frezzo, and O.J. White second, third, and fourth right there. Oh my goodness, O.J. slips around in turn number two and it takes Greenfield off the top side of corner number two. Yellow lights are back on with five in the books. Five laps are complete in this scheduled 15 lapper. Ten laps left to go. Damian Beckler, the race leader. Francis White, second. Lyle Robinson. Now up into spot number four. So it'll be Damian Beckler, Tony Frezzo, the top two. Then Francis White, Lyle Robinson, fourth. Michael Greenfield up to fifth. Gary Charlo is sixth. Jared Gilson into position number seven now. 
Eighth is the 72 of Caden Paquette. Ninth is Anthony St. Mary. And completing it will be O.J. White. Ten cars left in this one, and we are just about set to go back under the green flag. Five down, ten to go. Coming up next, we will have the Whitesboro Plow Shop. Dirt Car 350 modifies for 25 laps. Then the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sports Pit for 20, and the Panther Frameworks Crate Sprint Cars for 20 laps. Can Am Speedway Pace Truck from Bob Johnson Auto Group has peeled off the speedway. Damian Beckler, the race leader, we're back to green. And Lyle Robinson with a problem in the 61 pulls it immediately to the high side. We noticed some smoke coming out of that car throughout the evening. He seems to be back up to speed now, but he's lost a lot of ground to the race leaders. In the meantime, Damian Beckler, having no problems, has the race lead. Tony Frezzo, Francis White, all in the mix in this one. They can all win it as they come down across the line this time by Francis White, trying to make a bid to the inside lane for second. Frezzo shuts the door going into turn number one and two. That allows Damian Beckler to get away by about three car lengths. Here comes White once again down on that inside lane looking for second. Michael Greenfield back there in fourth watching those two battle it out as Jared Gilson up into the top five once again. In the meantime, Damian Beckler starts to extend that advantage over Francis White by about five car lengths down the front straightaway. Tony Frezzo, Michael Greenfield, Jared Gilson still in the top five right now as they work it into turns one and two and down the back stretch. Now Francis White has cleared all the traffic. Does he have enough time to run down Damian Beckler? And secondly, does he have enough time to get by? We'll find out here in just a few short laps. Down across the line, we're halfway home. Eight down, seven to go. Damian Beckler, the race leader. Francis White now to second. Tony Frezzo still completing the top three. Michael Greenfield in a borrowed ride here tonight, holding on to spot number four. Again, he had problems in the hot lap session with a transmission. Jumped in this ride here tonight and now occupies fourth. Fifth is still Jared Gilson having a solid run here today. Right now, it is all about Damian Beckler. As he holds on to the race lead, the Sackets Harbor native started third and is not relinquish the lead since lap number four. Working lap number ten, we are going to have five laps left to go, and Damian Beckler trying to hold on and win it. Francis White still there in second. Tony Frezzo, a strong run for him into third. laps remaining. Damian Beckler doing everything correct right now. Francis White doing all he can to run him down as they head up into turn number three and four. Three laps left to go and the lead is getting bigger for Damian Beckler as he brings it off of turn number four and back down to the line. We will have two laps to go or three to go this time by. Three remain for Beckler. Francis White doing everything he can to run down Beckler for the race lead, but he's running out of time. Not much Francis White can do at this point except just kind of ride this one out. Tony Frezzo a ways back in third, 16 of Michael Greenfield fourth. O.J. White after that problem earlier on in this feature has crawled back up into contention for a top five finish as he is working on Jared Gilson for the five spot. As they come back down to the line, we'll have two laps to go and Gary Charlo gets twisted around. Lyle Robinson around on the front straightaway. The yellow lights are on with two laps left to go. Two laps left to go. Last week's feature winner, Lyle Robinson, sitting idle right there in the middle of the racetrack, trying to get it refired, and he'll have to tag onto the tail end of the field. 13 laps complete, two to go.
So we're going to see who will come out the winner of this one. Uh, Damian Beckler has done everything right. He's run a perfect race so far, got the lead on lap number four, but still got plenty of work to do. Francis White, not out of this one whatsoever. Had some struggles last week, but looks like he's got that 60 running good, the defending track champion. Looking to get to victory lane and turn the season around here early after that struggle last week, but Tony Frezzo, he knows what it's like to be a track champ, and he won it in 2021. Michael Greenfield is fourth. O.J. White, after that problem earlier on in the feature, or excuse me, in this event here today, is back up into fifth. Jared Gilson, sixth. Tony St. Mary, seventh. Eighth is Caden Paquette. It'll be two to go when we come back to the line this time by, or next time by. Coming up next, we will have the 25 lap Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 modified feature go. Again, next week here at Can Am, we are off. No racing next week at Can Am. We will be back on May the 17th with Youth Sports Night. All five classes will be on the card. And some great racing already. Logan Brown going back to back. Donath Motorworks Limited Sportsman. Damian Beckler trying to add a feature win here at Can Am, but Francis White trying to deny him. We're back to green. This restart is exactly what Francis White needed. He's making a bid for the lead down the back straightaway. Beckler sees him. He knows he's there. Drag race into turn number three and four. The white flag is in the air. Final trip around. Damian Beckler trying to hold on. Francis White right there with him as he come across the line. White in the air. Beckler out to him on a car length. Francis White giving chase into turn number one and two. Beckler once again right in the middle of the racetrack. Pulls away down the back straight away by about a two car length advantage into turn number three and four. Checkered flag is waving. Checkered flag is out this time by. Beckler slips in corner number four. White to the back bumper. Not going to matter though. Damian Beckler gets the victory. Francis White a strong second. Tony Frezzo comes home third. Michael Greenfield, Jared Gilson, your top five.